All right, so welcome to 98 Bricks. Uh, this is my uh, rendition of the 2010 or 11 pizza shop that came along with the bus and I believe the skater shop. Um, this was a set that was all red pretty much from the second floor on. Um, I liked it, but it didn't have enough detail for me to really feel comfortable adding it to a city. So I put it on a base plate, I tile it off the front, and uh, we'll go into this sort of from the front. So um, we got a bench. I mean, nothing crazy, just a nice little bench for people to sit on. I felt that was kind of important, you know, for the front of the building, make it a little more lively, bring out people. Got a side wall here, going for a modern look, kind of, with this. Uh, fire hydrant, of course, nothing special going on there. It's pretty much the same first floor. The entire first floor, except for the windows, which were white, I replaced them with black frames. Um, and I replaced this because I thought, you know, maybe I can add like some new window uh, paneling on one side, change it up a little bit. Let me know what you think. I think it's fine. Um, add some flags to the front. I felt like that would bring it out a little bit more, make it more colorful, more dynamic. Second floor is pretty much the same. Uh, we'll, we'll look at this real quick. And this is kind of why I think I changed the set around and I'll kind of give you a little um, explanation this was the wall this is the wall that they had in the original set nothing wrong with this one brick you know this like what is it what, like a five by six brick nothing nothing wrong with that um, or one by five by six brick excuse me uh, it's hollow in this side nothing wrong with it but Using a variety of three bricks just brought out the liveliness, made it feel like actually, I don't know, made it feel a little bit more real, a little bit more lifelike, and I, I like it. I can't complain. I, I really, I really do like, you know, having more textured walls and not using simple pieces to get the job done quick. I understand why they did it, of course. Like, they're making, making a Lego city more economically feasible, right? But, you know this versus this striking red versus a, a nice array a nice color palette i really think that this set could have used a little bit more detail and that's kind of why i played around with it um going into the back second floor nothing crazy chairs table plant and the first floor is relatively the same except the chef is a female now so that's cool um, yeah, I mean, this is sort of the type of stuff I like to do. I really like to look at a set, um, that came out and, you know, has the potential to be edited and do something with it, you know? I mean, it's kind of a lesson. It goes to show you that you don't really have to just let the instruction booklet guide how your building looks. I mean, I just took extra pieces. Uh, for my own collection, you know, I've been collecting for a couple of years now, for a long time, it's almost over a decade. So, I have I have a good amount of pieces to play around with, and um, I like how it turned out. I guess I hope this is a message to at least the younger viewers and the younger creators that, you know, this is something you can do with your sets too. You don't have to just create something new all the time. You could just add your own improvements to this kind of. Um, these kinds of buildings. And I'm, I'm gonna be honest, like, there are a lot of people, I think, that feel like they have to drop something brand new. But I, I remember a couple of years ago, I think someone, I think it was either the green grocer or the hotel, they just replaced like one color of one or two like bricks colors on the, uh, the wall or like the paneling, completely changed how the design looked you know like a couple bricks a couple colored bricks different colored bricks can really change uh what kind of you know aesthetic you're trying to convey and that's kind of what i tried to do here um i think it also kind of allows you to have like a, a dialectical conversation on like on building techniques i mean you know this is my answer to the person that 
drop the initial design. This is what I feel like is, you know, what I think the direction of this design could have gone in. And this is helping innovate, I think, the craft, you know, in a, in a way too. So, I don't know. Tell me what you think about that. I mean, over the past couple of years, I've seen some really cool designs. And I think part of that is because people have just been editing other people's designs and playing around with new ideas. So this is one of the ways I think you can spread a new idea is just take an old set, change it, see what it looks like. Uh, I don't know. So let me know what you think. I hope this is uh, something that you guys find interesting and have some modular buildings, a modular building that's coming out and uh, a couple other octan things that I'm going to be working on. Sorry for the mess, but uh, it's 98 feelings and I'm out.